Alrighty, here we go. Boom, 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 boom. How long it take him to build all this beneath our feet? You're going down! Oh, shit. One way or another! Woo. Got it! Oh, this is ice. I'm gonna this goddamn ability. I still didn't learn it. That's a deal. Solo, by the way, but I'm trying to learn it fast. Damn it! Stop on me! You ain't getting out of this! Nice. Come on! Okay. I learned it finally. I can use weapons. Good. Duh. I forgot he does that. Alright, we can equip the other weapon now, finally. Which I'm sure is gonna be way better than this. Big Bertha. We reslotted, but I lost the Lost the materia there. Alright, we need to level it up. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. Uh, oh my god, excuse me. What do we got here? New materia slot. Attack power plus eight. We're in people receiving significant damage. Attack problems fight. These all kind of suck. I don't really like those. I'll get these other ones first. Yeah. Get the max HP up. Ugh. Here we go. Okay. You mean to get significant damage. Alright. Here we go. Now I bet it's like crazy good. Yeah, look at the stats. It's like way, way better. More damage, more magic. Just no, it doesn't give a defense buff. The light machine gun does, but... Alright, we got a new ability. Maximum Fury. We're gonna try that. I think we had had the refocus. There we go. Oh, wait, it's already on there. So then what else did we have on him? Now I don't remember. Was it luck? Uh, I honestly don't remember what we had on him. He's already got the HP up, right? Yeah. So what the hell else did I have on him? I'm completely, completely forgotten this. Shit. I don't want warding. I don't want chakra. The hell's prayer? <laughs> Slight employee restoration to the party. That's a move from like Final Fantasy IV. Huh. <laughs> Am I gonna get a mohawk? No, I'm not gonna do a mohawk. I'm just gonna trim where my hair is long over my ears, back of my head. I'm just gonna trim where I can trim. <clears throat> Fuck it. Double MP uh, HP up. Why not? I don't. I don't remember what else I had equipped. So, oh well. Might as well heal myself with some of these potions I found. <clears throat> Who's my favorite character so far? Honestly, I like the combat of the ranged characters better than I like the combat of the, the melee. So I like Barry and Aerith's combat way better. 
than I like uh, Cloud or Tifa. Although it should be said, I think there's only four characters in this game, right? Seriously. There's only four characters. Man, you'd think they dug halfway to hell. How'd you like that? Look at that. Oh yeah, another one in the bag. Not only did he kill the enemy, then he opened the area. Shut. Okay. Mega potions. <clears throat> Not going down oh, shit. Then we got a, uh, a boss coming up. Damn, I only got them to half health. This is a pain in the ass. There you go. You learned it right away, too. You learned that ability right away. Nice. It's a good ability, I like that one. Oh, there's a boss or something coming up. A big beastie. Something there. Two ways to go here. An optional item here. Healing Tarkinet? Let's see what that is. Healing Tarkinet. What the hell is a healing Tarkinet? It sounds like an item. Increases the effectiveness of healing items, spells, and abilities. <clears throat> so I want him to be a healer. I mean, I really should give him that, huh? All right, we'll have to see. Okay. Oh, let's see. The paradox and the 200... Oh my God, it looks so, so silly. The physics are so nuts. The paradox is cheered. 245 bits, he says. I have a question. Do you think we'll be invaded by aliens in the near future? Uh... Psh. You would like to think that there would be other intelligent life like us somewhere in the universe, right? But you really want to throw down with I don't know if there's ever been any concrete evidence of anything like that, you know? That's such a good ability. Really cool. Goodbye. As soon as he gets that ability, it's easy pickings, right? <clears throat> Who would put a ladder behind a, a dangerous fan? Who would do that? Just no uh, escape in the mist there. Oh man. Oh, I don't know what's going on. I gotta wake up. Should have had some caffeine this morning. Well, I did have a veto. I should have thought. Bottle of Echo Mist. You really want to throw down oh, shit. with me? I'm paying any attention. Got a whole heap of mad with your name on it. Come on, shoot up. Tifa. Whoa. Hey, Tifa. What the hell? You okay? I got you! 
You mean like the thing right here on the wall that I can't target? Looks like a niche to me. <clears throat> Working man. Sorry. Sorry, hit. Sorry, killer bugs. Yeah. The ladder there kicked out. Give me your best shot. <laughs> Join the party. I don't know. Oh, what? How'd they all die? I have no idea what just happened. <laughs> they all just died out of nowhere. She's still good. Alright, as long as she's still fine. And didn't lose any of her stuff. Okay, we're good. Are you alright? Yeah, I'm good. Thanks. Alright. Gotta go find <clears throat> Wade. Come on. Can't do anything there. Probably wants to go this way. What the hell? There we go. Target the fan. What are you doing? those noisy ass fans. I see a material in there by the way. See that? There's a material on the other side. Oh, this thing's gonna be a maze, isn't it? Yeah, it's gonna be a maze. Papa Virachir, he says, I think an interesting thing to think about why we've never seen visitors from other worlds because our galaxy is one of the older clusters of galaxies. And further out in the universe, there are younger ones that just haven't had time to develop like ours. I mean, you may be right. I don't know anything about that. I haven't studied any kind of, you know, no study of the stars or anything with me, so you may be correct. I'm afraid to ask, but did you just shoot your way in here? Well, yeah. Good. What else are we supposed to do? Damn, I should have filled gold ATV gauges for these guys because they're more tanky. Alright, here we go. Yep, there we go. Look at that. Nice. And then shoot him while it's down. Damn. That's the way to do it. That's awesome. How often in an RPG do you get to do combat like that? Almost never, right? That's fun. The material's in the other cell. Okay. Oh, excuse me. Is this something new or something we already have? Ice, so we already have it. We think we're pretty late in the game, but we're probably not gonna find many more new materials. Maybe I'm wrong, though. Maybe we're actually not that far into the game. Who knows? Maybe the final chapters are insanely long. I don't know. Bum, 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 bum. More doors am I an alien? Yes, I am. I told you guys many times. Gordon here, I already got that. Antidote. If I gotta climb another damn ladder. With one arm. Look, he has to climb with one arm. 
Oh boy. Oh, a cutter? For some reason, we haven't assessed it. I know we've assessed cutters before, but whatever. Oops. Lightning, of course. Delivering a certain amount of damage and destroying an arm knocks it down, giving it more simple to staggering, but when it recovers, it activates rampage when it becomes difficult to stagger. Ow. Lightning. Neither of us, I don't think, right? Let her down, I guess. <clears throat> no, that's where we came from. So where are we going? Let's see. Uh, it looks like I don't know. It looks like you're supposed to do something here, but I don't see anything. Oh, there it is. I didn't see this. You think Oops. Wedge is holding up okay? Of course he is. He's a lot tougher than people think. Probably sleeping soundly, dreaming about his gas. Or they captured his ass. We should treat him to a nice meal when he gets back. <laughs> hey, this is one that you can learn enemy skill from. Huh. before you really even hit him that many times. So we can go all the way up, or we can go this way. Or not, it's a dead end. Oh, it looks like you go this way, like jump down, but no. 
Okay. We're going up. So I think it definitely needs to be said the criticism of the game's linear is 100% true. Like, look, there's like nothing extra to do here. Just fight. Like Ow. There should be just a wipe here. Yup, oh my god. Clean white. What's for dinner tonight? I think we're doing some kind of chicken hash. Ch Chipotle mm. chicken hash. Gotta stay on my toes if I'm gonna make it out of here alive. Well, we did it. We're out of there. Oh, there's a new song to buy. That's it. Oh. Oh. Ugh. Ugh. I'm gonna wake up, man. Oh, three things, huh? So the main thing of Final Fantasy VII. Three mega potions for a big discount. Buy that. Uh, two ethers. Oops. And two Phoenix Downs. There we go. Are we seeing into the base now? Looks like it. I picked up my drink and he stopped the animation. What the hell? I had to keep holding it. Okay. Well, we made it to him at least. He's okay. You sure? <laughs> he looks dead. Me worry like that. I kicked your ass if you didn't look like shit. Thank God. Thank you. Thank you, Kitty. <laughs> of course, the Kitty is the hero. Okay. Let's go. Not sure. Lies beneath. Oh shit. What the heck? Why was Shinro making Givers down here? This is like mutations of the Giver. Cuh. What is this shit? This was not in the real game, was it? I certainly don't remember this. Unknown entity. So it's weak to ice. Lesser resistance to lightning. Ice attacks rapidly through their stagger gate. They rarely get interrupted unless attacked from behind. What the hell? I certainly don't remember this crap. Kills them. Ice instant kills them. Okay. Chill out. Good. Weird shit. What were they thinking with this segment? Yeah, you're right. Kind of reminds you of the collector's segment. Monster. Yeah, they kind of do look like bug, bug creatures. Right? You're right. Ice definitely works well. You don't mind, nice. Oh god. I don't even think I 
need the ice, honestly. Kind of weak. Sick. Yeah, they're pretty weak. Wow, that dive thing was very effective. <laughs> we missed. Ah, uh, the bullet smash. Still, get him. Nice. We gotta close that gun. Oh, I gotta use her now. Nice. We gotta close that gun. What the is he's up there? Oh, I don't know how to get up. Can I get up there? Yes. Oh god. This is a big one? The hell? Oh my god, there's so huge, huge, huge ones. The field experiment. Oh shit. Oh look, we do Jan. We do Kiraga. Oh shit! And it works. Beautiful. Weak to ice, just like the others. I suppose to those stagger gauge where melee attacks have only a slight effect and long range and other uh, element attacks have no have no effect unless attacked from behind. That work. Oh, 
Yeah, summon Shiva. Perfect. We need ice. Summon Shiva. Now there's a bomb. Yeah. Build up ATV. Oh, now I'm stunned? You're kidding me. Well, that was fair. Man, I trained for this. It sucks, I just gotta run. What a pain in the ass. Now she's dead. Ooh. Ooh. Got a lot. Now we can concentrate on the big Mixer. I gotta revive her. This guy really wants to see us dead. Yeah, he's an asshole. Dead. I need like one more spell to stun him, he's done. This should be it right here. I think we got him. Yup. Had to use some items now. I got a pair of mithril claws. Oh, now Cloud shows up. Super fucking late. About time, Merc. You're up. Late to the party and you giving me orders? <laughs> so what the hell were these experiments they were doing down here? Seriously. Now, hold on. I'm trying to look at our equipment. I'm trying to look at our equipment. They will not let me look at my equipment right now. Look. Nope. They forced me to... Oh, now... <laughs> Stupid. Apparently Klaus not even in the party yet, which makes no sense. So Feather Gloves, she's mastered. Yep. All right, we're going to go to Mithril Gloves now. Yep, and we're going to try to upgrade them. <clears throat> okay. Mithril! All right. New Materia slot we absolutely need right away. <clears throat> No new materia slot. Nah. Attack spell MP cost reduction 20%. That's good. Alright. <clears throat> attack for 7. Magic attack for 7. Magic attack for 7. Max MP plus 10.
Magic boost with full MP. <sighs> Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. <clears throat> so let's see here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh my gosh. So many annoying trolls. You know, I'm trying to pay no attention to the trolling today, guys. So I hope that you guys don't feel that it's derailed the stream at all. I'm just trying to ignore it. And, you know, every once in a while, if I have to ban someone, I do. I'm just trying to play with the game. I am liking the game a lot today. The combat's been fun. So, all right. So now, Tifa. So, does anyone have the elemental materia on right now? No. So she could put the elemental materia on right now if she wanted to. And get that elemental ability back, right? So let's get rid of cleansing. Let's put elemental, and then we'll put the cleansing back over there. Yeah, okay. Uh, what was it, cleansing? Not that I've used it, because I've never used it once. <laughs> Not a single time. Provoke either. I'll get rid of provoke. I never use it. Fallen 1570... Has subscribed for 31 months. Thank you, Fallen 1570. Um, a York Tourist chooses is justice something that someone can send that sells institute based on how they personally feel, or is there some form of objective justice in the world, and that's how the world must be governed? Subjective versus objective justice. Oh, Accio, I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. I'm just trying to play this game. What are you talking about? What is going on? I don't know anymore. Uh, okay. <laughs> the fuck? Okay, um... I guess let's... Let's put healing materia on both her and on Barrett. Okay. And then Cloud... We can change this up. I don't think anyone has lightning on them right now. Oh, he does. He has lightning and wind. Is there anything I would want to... Nah, no. There's nothing I would want to, like, like attach. Oh. He had the enemy skill material on the whole time. I didn't even know that. That's why he's learning enemy skills. Okay, I wonder how you use it. I wonder how you use that self-destruct ability. I don't know. <clears throat> uh, everyone has that. Yeah, everyone has one of the elements. I've not used Barrier once, right? Not a single time. Shirtless Mofo did a 500 bit cheer and said, Love you, man. Thank you, Shirtless Mofo. I appreciate that. <laughs> um, Should we try prayer? We never, you know what? Just for the hell of it, equip it. I don't know. I, at this point, I've got so much material, I don't even know what to use it for anymore. Item Master. There. There's so many materials. <laughs> it's ridiculous. All right, they want me to open the goddamn wall. Yeah. Oh, excuse me. Call the Junior says you won't even need material unless uh, barrier unless you do optional content. Like it's not even needed for the main game. <clears throat> what the oh, hell is God. this? Were those human experiments? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Shinra's fucked up. That's the Shinra I know. Look at this shit. And Shirtless Mofo did a thousand bit cheer and says, I really love you, my dude. Alright, thank you for the cheer. So apparently, yeah, because they experimented on Cloud, too. Cloud? What? Look at this. They're back. Whatever those things are, they're back. What the hell was that? <laughs> Where are they? They got teleported or something? 
We need to get him somewhere safe. Everything else can wait until after. Agreed. Let's go. Still Barry. I'm still playing as Barry even though Cloud's back in the party. That's weird. Alright. Back to Wedge's place, even though it's a pile of rubble. Like, what are we doing? Are we really bringing him back to his house? I hope not. So Shinra had a secret beast underneath this town. Human experiments. I'm gonna look around for the others. He made it, didn't he? They could still be alive. Okay. I saw them both at the pillar. Jesse and Biggs. Yep, they're dead. He has to tell them. How bad they were hurt. <clears throat> I'm sorry, but... He didn't make it. Don't. <sighs> They've returned to the planet. Sucks, but what are you gonna do? They they were supposed to return to us. <sighs> but if we stop now, they'll never let us live it down. You know, because they couldn't have told him this earlier or anything. So they didn't wait this whole time. Carry that weight. Yeah, I mean, your involvement got them killed. It's true. Shirtless Movo, thanks for another thousand bits here, but stop being creepy, please. I appreciate it if you just be like normal and not be creepy and ask me to hang out. This is not going to happen. Okay, thanks for the cheer. Huh. All right, so I think that's finally the end of Chapter 13, Broken Dreams. So now there's four chapters left before what I'm going to understand. This is where the game basically like kind of opens up and becomes very complex. And there's a lot to do. So I guess we'll see what happens here. <clears throat> we shall see. In search of hope. My camera's sorry, blocking it. I truly am. We had no other place to go and... I would never leave a wounded man out on the street. <clears throat> Elmira, I know what you said, but you have to let us go after Aerith. Not this again. <clears throat> we found an underground Shinra lab, where they've done human testing. This wasn't the first time, and it won't be the last. I know these people, and I know they're never going to let Aerith go. She's the last living ancient on the planet. Think about what that means to Shinra scientists. Especially to that son of a bitch, Hojo. We're all just numbers and Hojo! Down. But... Hojo's the head of their testing. He's a weirdo scientist. Please. I need some time to think. You've all had a long day. Why don't you go upstairs and get some rest? I mean, it's not like she can dictate what they do. She can give them a place to stay, but it's not like she can force them to not go after Aerith. It's pretty weird that they think that she has some power over them. <clears throat> what? That's not really her. To... Well, of course, shirtless, shirtless mofo does another 100 bit cheer and says something weird because I asked him not to. So, what the fuck would you expect? No way that he could actually act like a normal human or anything. He's gonna be a fucking weirdo. Um, I can't, I still can't get this chest. They stole it unless you get it. Fuck this, go back to sleep. Let me in here. 
Akira Tori is cheered, and he says, based on what you remember, do you think this remake is better than the, the original in terms of the Midgar section? I think there's some things that are better and some things that are kind of padded. Like, for example, I like the fact that all the members of Avalanche have individual personality. I like the fact that they added in two whole missions. Remember, they added in the mission in the hometown of Jesse, and then they added in the mission that was what we just did, like the underground facility. Kind of neat. It was short, but it was neat that they added that in there. It makes it feel more personable. It makes you feel like the Avalanche members aren't just generic people to be killed off, when instead, actually, there's meaning to it, right? Um, but then again, <clears throat> most of the side content, side content, I say in quotation marks, uh, of this game has been really just repetitive kind of grind quests. Go kill some generic enemy sitting in a parking lot, you know? Um, which isn't very exciting at all and not very interesting and just padding. You know, it's, it's to say there's more gameplay than there would be if they didn't put that shit in there. <clears throat> so, you know, that being said, um, you know, for me, I think that it's good and bad. But overall, does this make this, make this Midgar portion feel like more of a complete game? Absolutely. You could actually turbo through the Midgar portion of Final Fantasy VII. Like, you could beat it in, like, five, six hours just by doing the gameplay and not reading the dialogue. You know what I mean? You just go, do, 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 and just fly through it in one session. And the next thing you know, you're at the, the, the other parts of the game where it's open world and everything. So, the fact that they made it so robust and complex with this world with all this extra design and all this dialogue and all this backstory is really neat. But, <clears throat> but, the gameplay is so linear that a lot of people who like RPGs may find this not very entertaining. They're looking for something better than this, maybe. And, you know, I can understand why some people would love this and some people would say, yeah, it's kind of shitty. So... Well, someone impersonating Snow Carl tipped a dollar and said something stupid. I'm not going to read it, but thank you for the person who tipped a dollar and said something stupid. I don't want to say, read it out because I don't want Snow Carl to be embarrassed because this definitely is not him. Um, so there you go. Hold on one second here. <clears throat> okay. All right. By the way, thank God I have the air conditioner on, on today because it is bright sunny outside and it probably would be like super hot in this office if I didn't have it on, so that's good. <clears throat> okay. Duh. I don't know where I'm headed. Oh. That's supposed to be Aerith. There's no way that's Aerith. This is a this is either like a dream sequence or somehow you're talking to her through like the distance. There's no way this is real. Probably a dream sequence. Watch, she's gonna walk around the corner and she's gone. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> Snow Curl, I knew it wasn't you. How is this? Shout out to Rollers187 who subscribed for six months. Dream? Thank you for a six month resub, Rollers. I appreciate that. Maybe. <clears throat> you tell me. You okay? Don't I look it? Uh, this is not real. I used to live in the Shinra building, back when I was really little. Hmm. Your mom told us. Right. So, it kind of feels like I've gone back to my childhood home. You know? Honestly, it's not that bad. Yeah, all children live in skyscrapers, right? <laughs> so what? You wanna stay? Come on, Cloud. Don't be silly. Your mom's really worried too. Hmm? Too? So you're worried about me? No. Uh, of course I am. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Really. <sighs> Is that? <laughs> They could never see it before because the plate was blocking it. Everyone dies eventually. I suppose. So we need to make the most of the time we have. To live our lives the way we want to live. Every minute, every moment matters. I'll remember that. Good. 
So... <sighs> you need to embrace this moment. Right? I'm glad I met you, Cloud. I really am. I'm grateful for all the words we've shared. For all the moments and the memories. You've made me more happy than you know. And Why? I he was sticking the mud. Given me. He was boring as shit. But... <laughs> but whatever happens, you can't fall in love with me. Uh, I was all embarrassed. Look at him. Yeah. Emo. Even if you think you have, it's not real. <sighs> See? She wasn't there. She was the power of the planet. This? It's almost morning. Time to go. I'm coming for you. I'm coming for you! If that's what you want. Thank uh. you. So was it all a dream? Yes, she came to him in a dream. But was it real? Or was it fake? Who knows? I think they're insinuating that she has the power You've of the planet. So she can we do stuff like that. I won't forget this. If you ever need anything, all you gotta do is holler. Happy to help out, however I can. Elmira. I've been thinking about what you said. She's gonna say, go after her, go save Aerith. Why? She's calling out to me. I can feel it. We all can. So please. She's our friend. We have to help her. Why do you need her permission? It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> I always knew it was coming. Knew that one day, I'd have to say goodbye to my baby girl. But not yet. <clears throat> Please, bring her back to me. Hmm. That ain't gonna happen. Daddy! <gasps> Marlene. Are you going? Um, Again. Leaves her behind again. I'm sorry, honey. I wish I didn't have to. I wish I could be with you all the time. I really do. But if I stay here, I can't fight out there. Hmm? Huh? <laughs> Some bad people are trying to hurt the planet. And Daddy... Daddy and his friends are trying to stop those bad people. The slums, your friends, the whole planet. It's Daddy's job to protect it. Hmm? Look what a good job he did protecting Sector 7. Good job, Daddy. <laughs> and that's why I've got to go. You remember that nice girl who came to find you? Well, now we have to go find her. And when we bring her home, you need to say thank you, okay? Yes. That girl, she was kind of... <sighs> what? J Nothing. Weird. You should help her. Totally bizarre, weirdo. We will. She kept talking to herself and the flowers. <laughs> You'll come back, right? Of course, a promise. Okay, you can go. <laughs> Amazing. Are we ever gonna get that chest in, in Marlene's room? We still didn't get it. First it was an heiress room, now Marlene's, we still can't open it. <clears throat> Aerith. She's tougher than me. Alright, time to get some payback. Don't forget why we're doing this. I know, I know. To rescue Aerith. 
Can we go back right now? Oh, look, there's a, a materia right over there. So, how are we supposed to get topside? With everything that's happened, the trains still aren't running. Well, we could walk along the tracks. The city's oh, on great. high alert. All the roads and public transit have probably been locked down by now. So what's the plan then? You know another way up? No, but I think I know someone who might. Finally! Corneo. All right, we gotta talk to Corneo again. Oh, fuck me. Well, at least we're going back to Walmart. Maybe we can do the stuff we missed. A mythical amulet. What is that? Let's find out. Amulet that exalts the tutelary entities said to keep watch over the planet is strengthened summons. So if you want your summoned monsters to be better, that's good. That's what you use. I waited the whole game to grab that. I saw that way earlier in the game. We finally get it. It's like, oh, well, meh. All right, well, Lunaba to $3. Thank you very much, Lunaba. He says, I, for one, do like a linear RPG every now and then. There's already countless games that have almost too much content to the point of being tedious. And, you know, I, I kind of understand exactly what Lunaba is saying. There have been many games over the last, you know, five years, I would say, that everyone's like, oh, that game's like, you know, 40 to 60 hours long. And you play it, and it's like, well, the main story is only like 20 hours long, but there's an insane amount of grindy, like, side content that's not very good, and that's, like, incredibly long. Now, there's been some games that have completely flipped that formula on its head, like Dragon Quest XI had mostly, like, meaningful side content. And that game was 80 hours long, and it had a whole post-game segment that was amazing, right? Oh, what the hell is this? We got a new material now, pedometer. Um, so I would say it really depends on, you know, on the game itself. And, you know, some games know how to, how to do stuff correctly. And some games just pad shit. The worst padding game ever in, the, in like, the last five, six years was Mafia 3. That game would have been great if it was, like, a 10 to 12 hour plot line, but instead it was, like, a 40 hour game with so much garbage side content that was grinding, the game sucked ass. Um, so, I understand what you're saying, Lunaba. Um, maybe this game, because it is streamlined, and it, the little side content it has is kind of repetitive and not very good, maybe it's still a great game because of the fact that it, um, the fact that it doesn't, uh, go into any segments that feel like they're meaningless or repetitive. You know what I mean? Like, you're not... Do oh, I gotta play five hours for no reason just to get, like, a few extra levels or an item or something. It's not like that, right? And that's a good thing, I guess. At the same thing, again, I can totally understand if you like RPGs. So people may have a big issue with the fact that the game uh, doesn't have much content outside of a linear story. So. Anyway. Boom. I just put pedometer on Tifa. It says... 5,000 step goal. I don't know what you get when it hits 5,000 steps, but I guess we're going to find out. I think I'm just going to leave it on her. <clears throat> we're going to see what happens. Okay? All right. Shout out the Hedgehog just did a 500 bit cheer. And he says, Marlene in PlayStation 1 was kind of funnier. You said you didn't have a thing for Eris. If you said you didn't have a thing for Eris, she would say stupid every time you talk to her. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. So I think we're good now. Um... I'm actually about to take a break on the stream. I'm just curious if there's any other extra items hidden around before we leave this area. And it seems like right now we're just going to go and do a little bit of, like, interim questing to try to figure out, you know, with Corneo, how he can get us into Shinra Tower. Because that's our next objective. Storming Shinra Tower to rescue Aerith. By the way, can we get clarification? Is it Aerith or is it Eris? I In this game, it's Aerith with TH. But I, I swear I know I've seen or played it and it said Eris. And I don't know what's the correct name. You know? Was it that in one of the translations, it was Eris, and in another one, it was Eris? Like, I don't understand why the name changed. Eris is Americanized. Eris is J Japanese. Eris was the name in the original game. I'm so confused. <laughs> Good lord. Maybe not go to the Moogle area. Right, the Moogle Club or whatever. Yeah, look. You see all these businesses were closed earlier? But now they're open again. <clears throat> so maybe now you can actually do the stuff that you wanted to do earlier and you couldn't. Maybe now we can go trade in Moogle medals and stuff. Because they want me to go... Holy shit. They want me to go all the way down here. 
Yeah. Basically, they want me to go all the way back the way I came again. Like, a second or third time here. Yeah, look. Oh, my God. So... I think we should finish up in the slums. Now, can we do the Moogle Medal? Which I wanted to do for the longest time. My fellow grounders! Uh -oh. Listen up! Because, boy, do I have some news for you! Oh, God. Pants I gotta do this. To knock yeah. your socks all the way into next week. Reluctant or whatever this is. So after bombing reactors one and five, what do the eco-terrorists do? They go for the trifecta and take out Mako Reactor 7. Another attack by amateurs who don't care about collateral damage. Who the hell is this? The sky is falling <laughs> and Avalanche is to blame. But wait! Did you know Wu Tai is the one funding their activities? Wu Tai? For That's supposed to be the enemy of Shinra. Fighting for the slums. They're nothing more than pawns of Wu Tai. Puppets dancing to the tune of their foreign master. Yeah, of course they know that's, that's false, the but truth. they can't say anything. Topside news delivered straight to your ears. That'll be five gil. Five gil. Come on. What? Damn, man. Knew we couldn't trust Wu Tai to leave us alone. It's the reactors. They want them. We got them. Does this mean there will be another war? After what they've done, what choice do we have? Five gil apiece. Cough it up. The truth ain't free, you know. They're not paying shit. We ain't no Stupid. damn pawns of Wu Tai. <laughs> I couldn't care less about the rest, but that shit. <sighs> no, don't go get involved. No one will listen to us. There's no point in even trying. I'm sorry. Hey, hey, Tifa, listen. There's no room in this for. Regrets or what ifs or any of that. All we can do is keep moving forward, keep following this path we chose. Wherever, so we can say we did all we could. I know. But right now, instead of looking forward, you need to look around. Everyone here is terrified. So I'm asking you. Don't. Odd jobs, the final job. The collapse of the plate means that every many people in the slums are in desperate need of assistance. <clears throat> Once the party enters the Shinra building, they'll no longer be able to help anyone in need. So try to help as many people as possible before entering Shinra HQ. I know we're short on time, but let's try to help out wherever we can. Yeah. So basically, they're saying, now the game goes open world, you can go around and do quests if you want. But How do them now. Or, yeah, here you go. See? Do them now or you can never do them again. So, we're going to have to do a lot of side content now, I guess. By the way, yes, I can go into the children's area and do the Moogle Metal Vendor again. Carlton Jr. says the game literally just heard me saying that there was no meaningless side content section and it's inserted a meaningless side content section. How nice. Good to see you, Koopa. So, we have... 25 Moogle Medals, right? Steel Pinchers. All right, that's a weapon for uh, Barret. And Feeblement Ring. Makes the weirder feel as if they are a frog staring into the eyes of a viper. Battle with a toad status effect. Musil Wind Scarf. Makes the weirder feel as if the wind is at their back. Get a slightly filled ATB gauge. Salvation Badge. Increase the effectiveness of healing spells cast on you when HP is 25% or lower. That's terrible. Moogle's Mortar. A medicinal mortar that Ma Magi sometimes has in stock. It says it's a key item. What could that possibly be? Then we've got these. The primer on sword technique increases Cloud's skill points, increases Barret's skill points, increases Tiva's skill points. We already bought the scriptures for Aerith. <clears throat> huh. So in reality, I guess I should just buy... I should just buy all of these three, and I should buy this. And then maybe buy the steel pinchers, and that'll be it, because I don't care about the enfeeblement ring and shit like that. So let's do let's buy all these. Yeah, see Tiva gets 10 SP. Yeah, here we go. Everyone gets this SP out of that. That's cool. And let's buy the Moogle's mortar. I don't know what that's gonna be for, but it says it's a key item, so there must be a quest for it at some point. And I definitely want to buy the weapon for Barrett, so that way we have all of his weapons. 
Alright. Honestly, anything else here I don't really care about. Dude, one elixir was gonna cost eight Moogle medals. Fuck that. So, I think we got the good stuff. Right? A pleasure as always, Koopo. Okay. Um, let's take a look here. Barrett learned everything on Big Bertha. So, dude, seriously, it's really good. Like, take a look. It's actually going to do almost have exactly the same stats, and I haven't leveled it up yet. So it's actually really good. The Steel Pinchers. My question is, what materia does he have on it? Refocus, HP up. So I'm going to have to re-equip the refocus. Okay. All right. So we're going to check this out. We're going to see. I think that this is going to be pretty good.